Sarah Palin decided to highlight a couple of heroes that shine through the ugliness of the Baltimore riots this past week. Palin writing on Facebook, from out of ashes, he reveals beauty. And I consider Toya Graham and Robert Valentine beautiful amidst the destructive, thuggish and sick actions of those whom Toya and Robert are shutting down by rising above. One must love the responsibility and justice both these Americans represented this week. Palin then included two articles about Valentine and Graham. And Palin also included a picture of Graham, who's become a sensation across the country after she went down to the riots and slapped her son, who was participating in them. Palin posted a picture of Graham with the caption, The slap heard round the world. Thanks for waking up America, Miss Graham. To see any of the governor's posts in their entirety, visit Sarah Palin's Facebook page, follow her on Twitter at Sarah Palin USA, and head to SarahPalinChannel.com. Now, the Palin Update with Kevin Shola presents Liberty and Legacy. Here's Tamara Colbert. It is time for truth and a national discussion about the real root cause of what's been happening, and not just this week in Baltimore, but from Ferguson and beyond. We need to talk about Obama's failed leadership, the Democrats' failed leadership, and quite frankly, the Republicans I'm going to throw under the bus too. All of you guys on Capitol Hill, you've all failed. You've failed me. You've failed my family. You failed the listeners of this incredible program. You have failed us. Most importantly, the failed Democrat policies of generational welfare, government handouts, and lies upon lies perpetuated to the people they have claimed they wanted to help most. Trillions of dollars in debt and spending of taxpayer money For what? Just to perpetuate the Democrat vote. Really, that's it. But I'm sorry, John Boehner. I'm sorry, Mitch McConnell. You guys are part of the problem, too, because you only want to perpetuate yourselves. Now you're leading. Now it's your turn for payback. It's your turn to pay back your cronies. You know what? It's time to stop the madness. It is time to join together and say, nope. We've had enough. Enough of this. We are going to put a stop to that. And we're not going to put a stop to it by rioting in the streets, burning restaurants and businesses in our communities. That's a lie. That's a lie for everybody who thinks that's the answer to draw attention. No, you actually look like a spoiled little child who doesn't know how to communicate. I'm talking about a constitutional remedy, a way for us to join together. That we, you and I, together have a chance to right the American ship. And we can do it through our states. And it's called Article 5. The Convention of States Project gives the people recourse to say, you know what, I'm tired of hearing wannabe community organizers express the notion that people need to burn store downs and get those stores out of our communities in order to feel good. Sorry. It's not manly, it's not becoming, and it really isn't common sense. That's not what God asks us to do. I have to think, we are better than that. It is time to support each other, to speak in truth, and to say, okay, together we're going to pull each other up. That's what God wants us to do. If you look at Galatians 5, it talks about how God put liberty in our DNA so that as a people we will never be enslaved again. That is a very profound thing. Look, 237 years we have been doing great. Not perfect, but no man is perfect. We've been doing great. We've been the most free nation in the history of the world. We can get back there. We can have the next great American century, but we have to join together. You have to go to conventionofstates.com. I'm encouraging you, please. If you are upset, if you don't know what to do to how to make a difference to combat the evil that you are seeing, 
being perpetuated by liars and snake oil salesmen in our communities, then go to conventionofstates.com. Join me. Join the real fight, the constitutional remedy for taking our country back. It's real. We can do it. And we are doing it. This is the way. Through truth and love, we can do it together. And we can support our neighbor. Please join me. I'm Tamara Colbert for Mama Grizzly Radio. Tamara Colbert in Texas. Tune in for more Liberty and Legacy next week. And to learn about Convention of States, go to conventionofstates.com. Now our weekly commentary, Steel Resolve. Here's Sarah Steelman. Thanks, Kevin. The vacuum of leadership in this country never ceases to stun me. Once upon a time, a president of the United States or the leadership in the House and the Senate would have felt compelled to be on the front line of any controversy or conflict setting the tone, convincing people that there is a better way. They would actually show people the way by their actions, not their words. Now we live in a society that relies on starting some kind of conversation or developing some kind of narrative about the problem. Give me a break. (laughs) We rarely see any political or religious leaders getting down and dirty with the people involved. How can President Obama, as the leader of our country and the first African-American president, just skip out on the Baltimore problem? Why doesn't he care enough to go to Baltimore to talk to the police and the African-American community? Why didn't he care enough to ever go to Ferguson? Why doesn't he want to unite the country to find a better way to solve the racial divide that exists in this country? Instead, his legacy to this country will be the president of missed opportunities. It makes me sad for him and for our country. This is Sarah Steelman for Mama Grizzly Radio. Tune in again next week for another segment of Steel Resolve right here on the Palin Update. The Palin Update, including Liberty and Legacy and Steel Resolve, is on demand and available for download. So just head to mamagrizzlyradio.com, pick the show you want to hear, and you can listen anywhere, anytime. Well, that'll just about do it for this edition of the Palin Update on Mama Grizzly Radio. Visit mamagrizzlyradio.com for continuing coverage of Governor Palin. Also, like Mama Grizzly Radio on Facebook and follow along on Twitter at Mama Grizz Radio, at Kevin Shola, at Tamara Colbert, at Sarah underscore Steelman, and at 3DSTS. And I'm doing some writing for Breitbart News. Go to Breitbart.com and search Kevin Shola. I want to thank Sarah Steelman, Tamara Colbert, and everyone here at Mama Grizzly Radio. Thanks to Teresa Vale, and thank you for listening today. A special thanks to our sponsor, 3D Security and Training Academy. Visit 3DSTA.com. The Palin Update is produced by Lena Anderson, the Andy L. Kramer, and Laurieann Lewis. Please be sure to join us again next time for another edition of the Palin Update right here on Mama Grizzly Radio. And a happy birthday to Sarah Steelman and Lena Anderson. I'm Kevin Shola. Have a pleasant day.